Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Wednesday, July 24th, 2019. It's 4.02 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States. And today I wanted to do a video on does mental illness, particularly schizophrenia, run in families? Um, and I believe it does. Um, I come from a family of 11 children. Um, one of my sisters died as an infant and another one of my sisters um, committed suicide. She was the oldest um, sister I had in the family. Um, my mother was mentally ill and alcoholic. She died when I was about eight. Um, and other of my brothers and sisters have had various treatments with antidepressants and anti-anxiety agents. Um, I'm the only one diagnosed with schizophrenia, um, although I'm pretty sure my mother probably had it, even if it wasn't diagnosed at the time. And it's possible my sister also had schizophrenia more than just depression. Um, she committed suicide with a shotgun. Um, so I think mental illness does run in a family. In my family, you're talking about out of 12, or actually 13 people, me, my brothers and sisters, and my mother and father, um, three of those people um, got mental illness and two of them died because of it. So I think it definitely does run in families. And the question is what to do about it. Well, I don't have any children, probably because I couldn't take care of them. Even if I had them, I don't work full time and it wouldn't have been made any sense for me to have a child that I couldn't take care of. So I was careful not to have a child either on purpose or by accident. Um, so the question pops up, if schizophrenia and other severe mental illnesses, whether it's depression or severe anxiety, or in particular psychotic disorders like schizophrenia, um, should mentally ill people be having children? Um, I'm not saying I'm for forced sterilization of people who are mentally ill, um, but I advise mentally ill people, with, especially with a psychotic disorder, not to have children. Um, I'm not saying I regret being born, but um, my mother might have considered, if she had the knowledge at the time, whether or not some of her children might turn out to be mentally ill as she was. Um, I would have been preferred, preferred to be born without a mental illness, but here I am anyways, um, doing the best that I can. But I would advise people who are psychotic and mentally ill not to have children. It seems to run in families. I think there's overwhelming evidence that it does. Um, especially psychotic disorders where people hear voices, see things that aren't there, hear things that aren't there, um, believe things that aren't true, are delusional. Um, that's a hell, hellish nightmare. I've been through it for the past 40 years, and I can tell you um, having a psychosis is a hellish nightmare. And I would not want to put my children through that, and I would not advise people who are mentally ill, particularly with psychotic disorders, to have children. I know it's going to piss a lot of people off, it's going to make them angry, but that's just the way I feel.